Hello again, and here's the second part of question 37. So part B is to determine the maximum volume of a can. So we use the um, volume equation, which is given in the question. It's that one there. Volume is pi r squared h. And instead of h, we use what was given in the first equation. Notice they give it, so even if you couldn't actually work it out for yourself, you, you, you will still be given that first equation to use. So we substitute for h the 48 minus r squared over r. So therefore, v is pi r squared instead of h, we've got 48 minus r squared over r. Well, let's make this look simpler before we do the um, differentiating. The r at the bottom will divide into one of the r's at the top. So I get pi r to 48 minus r squared. And that volume equals then multiplying out that bracket, I get 48 pi r minus pi r cubed. Then we write an explaining line at the max. The derivative is equal to zero. So the gradient is zero at a maximum. The derivative equals. Now the derivative of our volume equation is 48 pi minus 3 pi r squared. So therefore, 0 equals that because of the maximum being and the gradient is 0. And we just have to solve this. So if I just take 3 pi r squared over this side, equals 48 pi. Divide both sides by pi. Divide both sides by 3. 48 divided by 3 is 16. So r equals plus or minus 4, the square root of 16. In this case, we'll only be interested in the positive solution because you cannot have a negative length. So the radius must be plus 4. Now, to find what the actual volume is, if I go up and run out of room here, let's go over here. To find the max volume, r equals 4, and we use the volume equation, and the volume equation I'm going to use is, let's just highlight a different colour, I'll use this one here, and in there I'll put my 4 in, so I get 48 pi times 4 minus pi times 4 cubed. Uh, 4 48, 48, 96, 192 pi minus uh, 64 pi and that volume uh, 198 128 pi now let's give it some units, hold on We're dealing in centimetres, so centimetre volume will be centimetres cubed. Let me just go over that very briefly. To find the maximum volume, you have your volume equation. You put in the equation we got from the first part, so that we now have an equation involving only one variable, the r's. Previously, we had two variables, r squared, r and h, and you can't do much with that. Let's get it down to one variable involving the r's, and then you can find the derivative of that, put it equal to zero, find your r, and then find the volume. Okay, that's that.